Hey everybody, it's Sandy the Sunroom Stitcher. It is 12, no, 1.47 p.m. on June the 5th. It's Monday and um, it's hot outside. We've had our first uh, really hot day of the year. Um, it's supposed to get to 90 today. So that's summer and the uh, fireflies are getting more and more prolific and I enjoy that. I enjoy my fireflies. And we had some rain yesterday. Not a lot, but um, anyways, that's, you know, time and temp <laughs> from here at the gentle folds of the lilac thicket. But um, how's your last week been? Mine's been a bit of a challenge. Um, I was out of sorts for a few days. Um, don't know what was the matter. Just not sick, but just something wasn't right. And I uh, had a hard time sleeping. I got a really good night's sleep last night. Um, feel really pretty good today. Uh, I need to run up to the store. I'm going to make spaghetti tonight for myself and my husband. And let's see, last week on Thursday, I um, had my uh, Skype chat with Leslie. Hello, Leslie. And um, we were stitching together, and it was like three hours two and a half, three hours. So I enjoyed that so much. Um, it was like a perfect day. I also heard from Lee, and I was really glad to hear from Lee. I was afraid that, you know, when you don't hear from somebody, you think something's the matter. Um, so I'm going to see Lee tomorrow. Uh, she's going to go to Stitch Group, so I'll see her there. Uh, Stitch Group's from 1 until 3. Um, looking forward to that. I have been stitching this week. Basically, I've just been working on um, my destiny. And uh, let me show you destiny for anybody new. This. So there's 20 pages. The first page um, takes in the window. And the second page over starts Joseph's head. So I'm really excited about that. But I am a slow stitcher, which that's okay. So anyways, I'll show you that in a minute. But let me put my glasses on so that I can give a shout out to um, all of my new subscribers. I think there's three or four of them. And that would be... Yeah. Where are we? There we are. And we want this. All right, so my first uh, new subscriber is Dina Drager. Hi, Dina, nice to meet you. I am not out in my sunroom today, but <clears throat> um, and let's see, who else? Dina. Here we go. Noni's Nest. Hi, Noni. Nice to meet you. I love nests. Yeah, they have to do with birds. <laughs> I'm bird oh, I'm bird crazy. And then Trisha K. Hi, Trisha. Mm -hmm. Thank you for subscribing. And so those three subscribers. Yeah, just three. But, oh, while I'm here, let me do this. Let me read to you the verse of the day today from uh, Bible Gateway. Uh, First Th Thess Thessalonians 5, 11 from the New International Version. Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up just as in fact you are doing. 
So I really like that because we do need to build build one another up. Um, we can't support one another and encourage one another and love one another. One love one another. Um, seems like times are very troubled now with um, a second attack in England on London, as you all know, and that was very upsetting. And then we've got all this stuff going on with them trying to redefine male and female genders. It, uh, it's, what is that? Um, woe to those who call evil good and good evil. So, that's just troubling, very troubling very troubling times and I, and I thank God quite a bit that I can't have kids because I would not want my children and grandchildren to have to live in all this mixed up upside down world. I truly believe in uh, living and, and let living and let live. However, uh, there are people who want to beat you into believing their beliefs. They, they don't want to leave you alone to live your life and they're not content with that. So, that being said, um, just try to be kind to everyone and some days I'm successful and some days I'm not. But yeah, I, I, do, I do make a serious attempt at it. And let's see, what else? Um, well, we had a, I was so excited when we got a German Shepherd because they are known to be protectors of their homes. And um, so I always felt that at night when we slept that Ali would always be there to watch over things and protect us from an, from an intruder. Um, and last night, she got stuck under the bed. I didn't think she could get under the bed. Silly me. So uh, the tr then I thought to myself, wow, an intruder would have to pull her out from under the bed for her to attack him. And that's not exactly the protection I was looking for. I don't know how in the world she got un got stuck under there, but she did. Orin pulled her out. She was just a whimpering and a whining. Oh my gosh. 70 pounds of a big weenie. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much so. But, uh, yeah. God, dogs. I tell you. Anyway, so let me show you what my progress is. I'm going to put my glasses on so I can on off, on off, on off. That is what I've gotten done. Now, over here over here in this area Joseph's head's gonna start over here so anyways but I've really been enjoying I've been enjoying this very much and Leslie and I were I was working on this and Leslie was working on I don't know I don't remember but um She's going to be doing this, and so I was giving her some helpful tips about about the um, enlarging the pattern and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, exciting stuff. And she had a cool idea, and she got, I'm doing this with a piece of foam core board, and I'm writing the symbol and the number 
on it so that when I still have thread on the needle I can just stick it there and the next time I need that color I can just pull it off there and uh, she had gotten a sponge and some uh, strips of paper and she was gonna write the numbers on and then uh, I put the piece of paper on the sponge and then put the needle in the spot next to the number and I thought that was a really cool idea using a sponge um so that's really the only only stitching thing that been going on here this week I um I did get some older just nans on eBay. They were really inexpensive, like five ninety nine, and she'd pay for the shipping and she put all of them together in one package. So I did get some older just nans that I didn't have. And um some of them are no longer in print and when I can find them really inexpensive, I'll go ahead and get them. As far as, um, I like that one, the Victorian Violets. I really do like that. And this is Snowfire Christmas. Even the ones that I remotely like, I'm gonna get. There's some that I don't like at all, so I won't get those. But as I find them, I'm gonna get them. And uh, so I, I was really pleased with that. And they came really fast because I think I ordered these on Saturday and I got them today in the mail. That's pretty incredible, huh? But uh, let's see what else is going on here. I tried to make peanut butter cookies and... They came out horrible. The recipe was not good. And they were dry and crumbly. And I think that they were missing another ingredient to give it a little more moisture. There really wasn't, there wasn't any water or milk or anything like that in the cookies. Um, so anyways, if you guys if have a tried and true recipe for a um good peanut butter cookie would you send it to me either put it in the comments below or send it to me my email address will be in the comments also let's see what else is new and exciting um i did get an avon order last week and it was some um, bargains for birth, for presents. My cedar chest is starting to fill up with presents for birthdays and Christmas. So that's good. And um, what else did I get? It was those and I got a pair of earrings. Oh, oh and I got um. Uh, dragonfly solar light so that was that was it um hmm oh Mary Corbett uh, sent out a, a newsletter uh, last week it was about um, the about reorganizing and it was really an interesting article and what I liked about it was um, hold on, where is it? Con Confessions of a Disorganized Stitcher. And uh, she says, Yeah, it's having problems. Ugh. I hate this damn computer. Ugh. I'm sorry, folks. Anyways, she just talked about that there is something 
good about a little bit of disorganization and stopping in the middle of a project and reorganizing gives you time to think and um, plan and here it is let's try it again There it is. I try to be organized. I try to abide by all good habits that deep down in my heart of hearts I know make me a more efficient and perhaps better stitcher. But sometimes I fail. Um, she talks about thread organization. Um, She says, I don't organize my embroidery threads the same way every time I tackle a project, which is true. Uh, depending on the project and my mood, the materials at hand, I might organize thread in a different number of ways. And then she, she talks about the advantages of thread cards, the disadvantages of pre-cut threads, um, what happens when she doesn't... Um, organize her threads and you know like her she said it is uh, it is a rather inefficient use of time but despite the fact that it detracted from my stitching time I'll tell you a little secret I like this kind of work I like separating threads cleaning up a mess things like that perhaps because it gives me time to ponder my next moves Perhaps it's because there's always a little feeling of satisfaction when I get my act together and neaten things up. Whatever the case, I like to pull up a table with a coagulation of threads and um, or any little things that need concentrated organization and organize them. Yet it is it it is inefficient, but in the end it is a it was a pleasurable sort of inefficiency. Um, and then she had some ideas, some links and stuff like that for organizing. Um, it was a good article and I really did enjoy it. And there's nothing that gives me more satisfaction than when I get all of the environment around me re reorganized again. And one of the amazing thing about things about it is I've been a hoarder for most of my life it seems and um, I've found like five or six packages of colored pencils so I've put all of my colored pencils in a little container like this and um, I'm actually running a <laughs> out of room as you can see but I tried putting, you know, light colors together, like greens and browns and blues and purples and stuff like that. Because I do, I do use them to color my graph of de on Destiny. Um, it helps keep me track of where I'm at. And I took them with me when we went to the Silver Needle, uh, the retreat in March. And all the ladies around me were using them too so um, it came in handy but that's what I'm finding is I'm finding stuff that I forgot that I had and now I've got some semblance of organization and it it, it actually <laughs> makes things much more pleasurable like I can go to my button drawer and pull out an embellishment or a button or something like that um, so yeah there is a very nice sense of satisfaction when you start pulling things and um, not only that it, it, you don't you're not spending the money going out and buying another Q snap or whatever when you've got all that stuff together so the last time you saw this it was on a, a hoop and it's getting bigger and I thought well I'm gonna go ahead and put it on a small Q snap and I do find that the Q snap is a heck of a lot more heavy than um then the hoops which tires my poor little hands and wrists out but yeah 
I am tend to be a pack rat. Now I'm working on not being a pack rat. And it is difficult. And then Leslie and I were talking about that. So, um, what else? Well, let's go to, let's go to our uh, freebies that I've got, some freebie sites. Um, I did want to tell you that out at Primitive Hair, there is, um, now all these links are going to be down below, and uh, there's a Christmas Bells, and it just says Christmas Bells, and it's a simple, it's simple design, and it's very pretty, I mean, in its simplicity, so um, you might want to take a look there. This is the one that I absolutely love, and it's Travel the World, and it's from... Uh, DMC Portugal and uh, the link that I have is for a site uh, she has freebies on her site but at the site or she has freebie links let me put it like that but she uh, will explains how to get the first part of it there's now five five parts uh, but it is uh, travel, travel through, travel through the world, and the first one you get sent to you in your email, and she sort of guides you through uh, where to do that on the site. But there's the thing that I liked about it is it had sort of like different places, and it reminds me of the soda pattern. The kawaii kind of um, genre of uh, people and stuff but they had like Copenhagen, Brussels, um, Lisbon, um, I think there's a Paris, there's Rome or maybe it's Rome and not Paris. But anyways, it is Darling, and it's like a monthly one. June hasn't come out yet, but you'll definitely want to go and, and look at that. If you have any questions, just refer to the link um, for the Travel travel the World from the DMC Portugal site. Uh, then Not Forgotten Song, uh, not, not Forgotten Farms has a primitive style flag maker and it really is prim and it's really cute uh, so if you, if you like prims go over there and get that then there's one uh, called R R L A U R E L L E and it's a French designer and she has some really cute designs there um, and she also has links to other French designed uh, freebies. But go to her link, go to the link that I've provided, and that'll bring up just the freebies. But uh, really darling little tiny freebies, really cute. Then there's linen flowers, and um, they're uh, got some black work designs and some Christian themed designs. And uh, let's see, Word Birds Nest. It's black, black work. If you like black work, go there. And I also, in the um, Nordic Needle newsletter that I got, they t showed some designs of a designer called At My Needle. And I think she's one of the uh, former Eastern Bloc countries. Yeah, and um, maybe Bulgaria. Uh, but anyway, she does hard donor. And her designs are gorgeous. And of course, I love hard donor. But she has a YouTube channel and she has short, little short, like one to two minute videos of her doing um, hardanger stitches. Love it. I subscribe to it. 
so um, I'll put that link in the bottom too but you must go and um, check that out and let's see what else hmm this is 26 minutes and I don't have a lot more to say really I just hope that um, you keep a good thought and just try to spread some kindness around the world needs it yeah I think that there are a lot more kind people in the world than there are unkind people but um, kind people tend to be a little quieter and unkind people seem to be quite belligerent so kind people sort of get washed out of the picture a lot there's a lot of inspiration out there don't believe any bad things that you hear about people um, there's so much untrue news out there so that being said I think that I will let you go um, and I love all of you and stitch it all as Vana would say <laughs> God bless